Hey everybody, it's Doug Schauff with the Make Man Your Home team over at Remax Oceanside. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about should I buy a new construction home? We talk to a lot of people that are always like, you know what? New construction's great. I want to do that. I want to build it. So I'm going to talk about some reasons why you should do that. So let's do this. All right, everybody, uh, like I said, we're going to talk about uh, new construction and, uh, you know, the question is, should I buy new construction? And uh, I guess the, the answer to that is, well, it depends on, you know, what you want and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of great things around new construction that can really be beneficial and it may be right for you. I could see, you know, a lot of times people shy away from new construction because of the time that it takes to build. Like if you're in a hurry and need a house, new construction might not be the best option for you. But if you got some time or if you can find like a rental or something while the house is being built. Um, new construction can be great and, and oftentimes you get exactly what you need. I got some notes here, uh, so I make sure to talk about everything, but I got to put my glasses on the lookout. Let's do this. Ah, the first bullet point that I have here to talk about new construction is you get to personalize and customize everything that you want about the house. Depending on where it is in the stage that you that you buy it, because oftentimes there's houses that are just being built already, and maybe you come in and you know the shells there, and you get to pick and choose what you want there, uh, which is nice because then you could pick out all the the finishes and all that. Or if you're just buying land and you're and you're building it from scratch, like your own customized house, then you can kind of get everything that you want. Um, I always recommend when you're doing that is maybe go walk through some houses, brand new houses that maybe um, haven't sold yet. Maybe you can get in there and walk walk through them get as many ideas as you can that you like and find out what you like you don't like and all that stuff because obviously once it's built it's harder to change certainly doable but it's harder to change so i always recommend doing a lot of research there try to get into a lot of houses go to a lot of open houses things like that get some great ideas what you can customize and make the best house for your family so i, I highly recommend that the great thing about new construction here i got is it's nice and clean you get a nice brand new house you know typically the builder will have it professionally clean before you move in it's kind of like that comforting feeling that nobody's been in that house living before it's kind of nice the first house i ever bought was a new construction and i i kind of missed the house because it was fun kind of having that new construction everything that's you know any dirt or anything in that house was from us and ideally here, you know, if you do everything right and you go to open house, you get ideas, you're not going to have to update the house for very long. You know, I mean, you, you might stay there forever. And let's say 20 years down the road, you might decide to update the kitchen or whatever. But right out of the gate, you're not really going to have to do many updates, you know, so that that's really good. Houses are typically built nowadays, very energy efficient. So, you know, your, your heating costs and all that kind of stuff is going to be a lot lower. They use better technology or the updated technology for the boilers or the heating system or the cooling system. So everything is just more efficient than if you bought a house from like the 80s that has like the, those old boilers and stuff in there. Less maintenance, you know, because of that, if everything's brand new, you know, a lot, again, a lot of the technology uh, today around roofing, siding, windows, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's so many things out there that are low maintenance uh, products that you can use on the exterior of the house and the interior of the house that gives you a lower maintenance or less maintenance than maybe an older home. One thing I will say, one thing to look at when you're building a house is the landscaping and the plantings and, and all that kind of stuff. Oftentimes, builders will do a lesser job outside as far as the landscaping. And if you don't, if you're not on it and get what you want, you know, you're going to end up with what they call contractor grade seed and things like that on the lawn. And you could end up taking a few years kind of getting your lawn exactly the way you want it. So if it's something that you're looking at to have a perfect lawn out of the gate, Eight. Talk to your builder about costs and make sure you get it sodded or, or, you know, get it the way that you want. That's kind of the one, the one piece of new construction that you want to really pay attention to and be aware of that, you know, it's going to be some time to get a nice great lawn there unless you get it done right up front. The next thing is move in ready. Of course, once it's done, you're done, man. You're, you're moving in, you're setting up shop, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, and, and it's really kind of comforting, again, knowing that like you're the only people that have ever lived in this house. You get to set it up how you want, decorate how you want and live your life. So if the question is, should I buy new construction based on these? I would say, yeah, new construction is a great thing to look at. But again, it does depend on your situation, and all that stuff. So um, if you have any questions or comments, you know, comment below. Hit us up on social media or send me an email. Give me a call, whatever you want. And remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone.